Hello and welcome to the tutorial on Find the Missing Number. In this tutorial we will learn how to find the missing number for number bonds to 1000. And we're going to be looking at addition questions. So let's have a look at our first example. We have something plus 687 equals 1000. So something plus 687 equals 1000. Now there are several methods to do this. What we're going to do is we're going to concentrate on the number 687. What number added to this is going to give us 1000? Now there are two different methods on this. We can look at the units and the, then the tens. What we're going to do is look at the units and the tens combined. We've got number 87. Okay, We want to get 87 to equal 100. Now you know this from your number bonds that 87 plus 13 equals 100. Okay, 13. So 87 plus 13 equals 100. Therefore, because it's 100, the 6 is crossed out and that becomes 7. Now we've got 7 and we have to get 7 to equal 10. What number added to 7 is going to give us 10? The answer is 3. And that is our answer. 313. Okay, we can write this down. And we can always check. What we can do is write down 687 and then add 313 and see if we get to 1000. Okay, let's see if it's correct. So starting with the units, 7 plus 3 is 10. We've got 0 here and 1 here. The tens column, we've got 8 plus 1. 8 plus 1 is 9, and then plus the 1 we're carrying over, now that is 10. So we've got 0 and 1 over here. As for the hundreds, we've got 6 plus 3, which is 9, plus the 1 we've carried over, and that is 10. Okay, we can put a comma here, so that is 10, uh, sorry, that is 1,000. So this answer is correct. Okay, it's nice and simple, and you can always double check. I'm just going to scroll down so we have a bit more space to work through a second example. This time we've got 721 plus something equals 1000. 721 plus something equals 1000. Now let's have a look at the number we're beginning with, 721. Now again, we're going to concentrate on the tens and the units, 21. So we've got 21, we have to add a number to get to 100. Now again, you should know this from your number bonds. Okay, the 1, well we need to add 9 to the 1, okay, that makes 10, so the 2 will become a 3. What number added to 3 will give us the 10 we need? The answer is 7, 79. So we can write this down, 79. So 21 plus 79 is 100. Therefore, the 7 is crossed out because it's 100. That becomes an 8. So what number added to 8 is going to give us the 10? The answer is 2. And we have got our answer, 279. And as we've done in the earlier example, we can double check. We had 721 to begin with. We're saying the answer is 279. Let's add them together and see if we're right. Okay, the units, we've got 1 plus 9. 1 plus 9 is 10. The tens column, we've got 2 plus 7. 2 plus 7 is 9. Plus the 1 over here, the answer is 10. And lastly, we've got the hundreds column. 7 plus 2 is 9. Plus the 1 is 10. So that equals 1. Therefore, our answer of 279 is correct. So that is a nice quick method to work out number bonds. 
to find the missing number for number bonds to 1000 when there are addition questions.